that provided particularly good news for Red Bull. Both Max Verstappen and Daniel Ricciardo finished within 0.6 S of Bottas, which is less than the estimated delta between the Ultra Softs used by Mercedes and the Super Softs that both Red Bull and Ferrari elected to stay on. Ferrari's Sebastian Vettel wound up fifth, a few tenths ahead of teammate Kimi Raikkonen. Both men had minor offs as did Hamilton while Verstappen experienced an early end to his session due to a fundamental setup change. There was worse fortune down at Force India Mexican Alfonso Celis, standing in for Esteban Ocon, hit the wall exiting turn 16, damaging the rear of his car and triggering a brief red flag period. He too was unable to rejoin, winding up 19th overall just ahead of Stoffel van Dorn, whose McLaren was struck by early engine gremlins that limited him to just three laps. Bottas in contrast was the morning's busiest runner with 41, with his benchmark time the fastest ever recorded on the current layout of the Mexico City circuit. Home hero Sergio Perez upheld his countryman's hopes with 7th fastest time of 1 meter 19.240s for Force India, using the Supersofts. He headed for ultra-soft runners Fernando Alonso's McLaren, Felipe Amas's Williams, and the tightly matched Renaults of Nico Hülkenberg and Carlos Sainz, who were split by just 0.02s. In what was a very exploratory session, Antonio Giovinazzi was the leading substitute driver, taking Romain Grisjean's Haas to the 15th fastest time, ahead of Charles Leclerc and Marcus Ericsson Sauber and Sean Gellil, who briefly spun Pierre Gasly's Toro Rosso. Toro Rosso's other runner, Brendan Hartley, competing in his second-ever event, met with troubles that momentarily stopped him at turn four halfway through. He managed to get going again but spent the rest of the session in the garage. Watch FP1 summary Unfortunately, we are unable to play the video at this time. Error code unknown.